Hi, my name is Carl Pearson, and in this video I'm going to describe the contagious dis disease which is destroying the economy and the cure for such disease. The, there are various reasons for this disease, and one of them is the lack of enforcement of various laws that are designed to promote competition, having the effect instead with non-enforcement of creating monopolies. For example, Walmart buys its goods at about 50% below the manufacturer's cost, but small competitors buying from Walmart uh, from the same manufacturer pay about three times as much, so they go out of business predictably. And Walmart gets larger and larger and creates a monopoly for itself in an increasing number of products and, in some instances, services. Two. The existing monopoly in the main media is another reason for what's going on. They suppress information and, and the warning needed by voters to understand the disease and what is needed to cure it. Three, the failure to make it easier for small businesses and self-employed persons to compete against large corporations. Four, the failure to provide low-cost, relevant higher education thereby diverting the huge costs of higher education, often ranging up to $75,000 a year after taxes, which could be $150,000 per year before taxes, away from the creation and financing of small businesses and the millions of jobs that they would create. And also, having the laws enacted and enforced by or administered by elected and appointed officials who never had to meet a small business payroll. They really have no idea what they're doing and the damage they're causing to the economy, or perhaps they know what they're doing and they're doing it anyway. But what is needed to cure this disease of diminishing employment is one, reducing outsourcing by making imported goods for resale in the U.S. market pay their fair share of the cost of maintaining this market. Two, financing small business, such as by loan programs, tax incentives, federal loan guarantees, and other ideas to be mentioned. Three, market my task marketplace by providing funds to towns, villages, and cities to solicit individuals who reside therein who will be self-employed persons to list themselves and the tasks that they are offering to uh, on my website, myclads.com, and then advertise the availability of these task offers to the 25-mile areas surrounding the town with low-cost local advertising. This will create at least 10 million new jobs in the country within a few months at only a cost of $100 per job. Then we have to identify and reduce the regulatory burdens on small business, such as by creating area-wide payroll administrators to reduce the time and expense of administration, and by enacting a statute which exempts the first three employees of any business from any kind of compliance or regulation, whatever, such as insurance, withholding, taxes, uh, OSHA, any requirements at all should be eliminated, and if the government wants to deal with, the, with that problem, then have the employee go to the post office and make his 10-cent withholding payment. But don't involve the employer for the first three employees. Let the employer have an opportunity to grow and create jobs. Tax small business fairly, including the putting of a greater emphasis upon collecting taxes from major corporations rather than on small businesses and eliminating, eliminating various programs which create deductions for large corporations with no equivalent for the small corporations such as lunchrooms that are tax deductible by the major corporations, lunches uh, at low cost for their employees. Small business doesn't have that. Six, enforce existing laws protecting small businesses to allow them to compete effectively and create millions of new jobs. These statutes include the federal robinson patman Act, which prohibits price discrimination. Small businesses are supposed to be able to buy their inventory from manufacturers at the same per unit price 
at which the goods are being sold to Walmart, AutoZone, Barnes & Noble. But this is not occurring, thereby causing hundreds of thousands of small businesses to go out of business or to be so unprofitable that they can't even pay their mortgages now. Uh, the Sherman Act prohibits unreasonable conspiracies and restraint of trade, price fixing, boycotts, tie-in sales, monopolizing, attempting to monopolize, conspiracies to monopolize. Um, it should be enforced, but it's not. The Clayton Act, Section 7, prohibits mergers and acquisitions having a substantial tendency to, uh, to monopolize. That should be enforced, but it isn't. We allow almost every merger to take place. We allow companies to get so big that they can't fail, in which case they get even more money. After the monopolistic profits they've taken, we give them a trillion dollars more. The Securities Act, the SEC is not requiring Walmart and other major retailers to disclose that they are buying goods at lower than the manufacturer's own cost. The SEC doesn't enforce that. They should be telling people that because they can't continue buying below cost. It puts manufacturers out of business, and the public has a right to know that. Uh, government agencies permitting major corporations to operate illegally and propping them up when they fail, rather than requiring them to go out of business and letting smaller corporations benefit by having survived and being the better of the two. Seven, lower educational costs for college so that the millions of college graduates are not deprived of the money they need to start up their own businesses. This excessively high cost of education depletes family savings and forces college graduates to get low-paying jobs instead of trying to use their education to compete as a self-employed person or owner of a small business. I can help any town or village set up a low-cost equivalency college, tuition $2,000 a year, ready in two months to take students in, and this thing would be a tremendous benefit for the community. It should happen. Eight, have the Obama administration appoint a small business cabinet member to advise the president and his staff on issues relating to small business and to be an advocate for policies favoring small businesses and the jobs everyone knows that they create, and to oppose the policies of the administration advisors who come from and favor the major banks and corporations. Nine, set up a small business investment market for small businesses to make their proposals for financing and for potential investors to review potential investments without any requirement of compliance with existing SEC statutes requiring a costly full disclosure, costs which will exceed the amount of money being sought by the small business in many cases. Ten, have the nation's monetary policy determined in open meetings and subject to public review and debate, which would have enabled the public to raise issues about toxic mortgages, uh, naked short selling, derivatives, excessive bonuses as evidence of monopolistic or illegal activities, and other activities that have brought down our economy. We have to shift from being money changers into doing something that, we, like, such as making stuff. This is what we have to do. We can't rely on foreign countries to make that because there go our jobs. So my name is Carl Pearson. I have discussed most of these concerns in other YouTube videos and in several websites, particularly lawmall.com and electionissues.com. And let me uh, show you my website for my plaids, the task marketplace, and my electionissuesus.com. And I thank you. Please look at the other videos as well.